You know, Bonnie, it's movie stars and celebrities that fuel the world of Hollywood. Yes. Oh, wait. Uh, no. Uh, I'm sorry. Did I say movie stars? Yeah. Okay. You did I, say movie stars. What I meant to say was cocaine. It's cocaine, Bunny, that fuels the world of Hollywood. And you know who buys the cocaine? Uh, the Hollywood stars buy the cocaine and the pretty much everybody in Hollywood, isn't it? No, the producers buy the cocaine, and then the producers give the cocaine to the talent wranglers, and the talent wranglers give it to the managers, and the managers give it to the movie stars, who then use the cocaine to act in the films for the producers. That's called the California Circle of Life. <laughs> okay. And it moves us all. Till we find our way. Hati. Hey, that's the African part. I don't know that part. So I just figured, here's a crazy idea. What about starting off the podcast by talking about movie stars and celebrities? You know, what with this being an alleged I film just podcast. had a, wait a second. I just had a brilliant idea, though. Yes. Okay? Yeah. If we could somehow replace the cocaine with a, with a, with a, like a poker chip. Okay. Oh. Okay. Maybe a subway token. Okay? okay. Yeah. And then that gets passed all the way down instead of the cocaine. Yeah. And then the actor or actress brings us the token and we give them the cocaine directly. That's good thinking. Yeah. That's really good thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That could probably work. Yes, Maxwell. Yes. Yeah, I hope. A little, a little bit of my show on, on, on Facebook. And, you posted and, my show on, on Facebook and Netflix. Well, thank you very much. That's Oh, okay. Thank you. That's really awesome. Okay. <laughs> so, so here is a list, a small list, of some of the true facts about Hollywood movie stars and celebrities. Hollywood celebrities for you, okay? Okay. Okay. Johnny Depp. First off, let's talk about Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, interestingly enough, not sure if you know this, Johnny Depp is the human equivalent of a Black Crows album. <laughs> like if a Black Crows album became anthropomorphized, yes, it would be Johnny Depp. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so Johnny Depp owns five man massive mansions and they're literally right next to each other yeah so one mansion right next to another 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 mansion he literally owns roughly 83 percent of a cul-de-sac <laughs> we're not recording video so you can sit down dressed as that that's fine i'm just letting you know in fact, recent. In fact, he's trying really hard to own the entire cul-de-sac, but there's one guy at the end of the, at the end of the cul-de-sac that refuses to give up his house, and that is just driving Johnny Depp fucking nuts. But, but yeah, it's it's, it's pretty wonderful. And Eleanor said that is so fucking weird, though, and I, I don't understand why celebrities do so how many fucking houses do you need i don't know i don't know seriously i mean seriously i, I see see because i would have to be the other dick i totally would it would be like oh johnny depp i love you johnny you you want me to fucking fuck you yeah 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 but no if i if i had are, are you getting me a better mansion or something yeah First off, it's just weird that he has. It, it's not weird that he has that Johnny Depp has five mansions. It's weird that he has five mansions right next to each other. That's the weird part. Yeah, this is. And, what, what are you on boardwalk? Yeah. <laughs> and then of course he wants to buy the sixth mansion on the street because that's just like okay. Then he can he, put up a hotel. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> But no, God, if I was that man who had the sixth mansion, oh hell no. You you're gonna have to you're gonna have to pay me like like 
a billion dollars and a jade monkey from a secret Mayan temple if you want me to give away living next to what is slowly becoming a crazy person. Yes. Because Johnny Depp is going crazy. In fact, he, uh, Johnny Depp recently decided to up his lost touch with reality quotient. Because what he wants to do is Johnny Depp wants uh, to build a series of underground tunnels so that he can connect all five of his mansions together. <laughs> so, true. so true the fact. bat cave. It's true fact. He wants the bat cave. Yeah. So, so a couple of things. A couple of things. Number one, wouldn't it be great if they were like hamster tunnels? <laughs> yeah. Does not make a full size tunnel? He makes these tiny little ones that he's got to crawl through. Like I can see Johnny Depp like crawling through these tiny little tunnels to get to mansion number four. Number two, how what? much? How much you want to bet that one of those mansions, of those five mansions, that one of them is just filled with scarves? But see, that just gave me an idea, though, that that suddenly I want to start buying mansions around me. Because how totally cool would it be, like, you open your door, and then there's a giant habitrail tube. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I'm talking about going above ground with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Depp has, is, has the wrong idea there, of these underground tunnels. Hell no, yeah. I want these giant, massive-ass tunnels. Yeah. I want to combine all of the houses together like a big hamster. So people can stand outside the gate and watch the celebrity move from mansion to mansion <laughs> through the habit. Maybe they'll run on the wheel for a while, you know? Yeah. yeah. But when you, but you, what, what you really got to think of is what does he have in these five mansions? I got, I got to think, okay, this is, my, this is the mansion where I just keep my headbands. Yes. This mansion is all scarves. Now let's say this mansion is just filled with ripped jeans. Now let's talk about pools. This pool is filled with Fiji water. This pool is filled with Dasani. And just for fun, this pool is just Coke Zero. <laughs> it's my Coke Zero pool. I have, I have uh, immigrants change the pool every hour. Yes. So every hour there's new Coke Zero in there. <laughs> So, so some other celebrity news. I uncovered something shocking about Jennifer Lawrence. About Jennifer Lawrence. About Jennifer Lawrence. So let's talk about Jennifer Lawrence. Yes, Maxwell. I'm going to talk to Bunny for a minute. You're going to talk to Bunny for a minute. Okay. They, what a surprise. You want to interrupt my podcast. So go ahead, Maxwell. What's up, Maxwell? Okay, Bunny, when we go break, I'm going to do my podcast about Legos. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. 10-4. Maxwell thinks he has a podcast now, so that's exciting. Okay. So Jennifer Lawrence. Let's talk about Jennifer Lawrence, okay? All right. She is outspoken. She is loud. She is brash. She is not afraid to be herself and laugh and burp and tell everyone how she feels, okay? So that makes her seem uh, real and relatable to normal people like you and I, Bunny. And okay. Uh, this is the it, Hunger Games chick, right? Yes, okay. the Hunger Games chick. And that bunny that I just said was the first and definitely last time that you and I will ever be called normal people. <laughs> just FYI. And um, if you hear a racket going on behind me, it's because Maxwell is uh, flipping a water bottle. Apparently, Maxwell has turned into a uh, YouTuber. You just hit me with a water bottle, Maxwell. That's not how it works. I know. Yeah, I know what water bottle flipping is. I go, I go on the internet, Maxwell. Why don't you do that in the living room so that everybody can hear you? And, I mean, that's more of a visual thing, and a podcast is a, a, a an audio medium. Don't use your teeth. To open that bottle. Teeth are not tools, okay? Yeah, I know. Teeth are not tools, unless you're a beaver. Are you a beaver, Maxwell? No. I didn't think so. So, she, Jennifer Lawrence, she's funny, and she's silly, and she's outspoken, and she's loud. And that got me thinking, okay? That got me thinking. Yeah. Um, who does that remind me of, this this Jennifer Lawrence individual? So, uh, so that... Okay. is when I uncovered the real mystery. 
Uh-huh. When, when was the last time you heard from Christy Alley? Hmm? Ah. Uh. Two words for you, bunny. Monkey's paw. Monkey's paw. <laughs> Monkey's paw. So I think so, you might have something there, yeah. So this is this is how it works. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence got uh, Christy Alley got a hold of a monkey's paw, and the monkey's paw said, uh, "You got three wishes." And so uh, Christy Alley said, "Okay, no, for my first wish, I want to be young." And the monkey's paw said, "Sure." And so uh, Christy Alley was young again. And so the monkey's paw said, "What do you want your second wish to be?" And the, Christy Alley said, "I want to be super famous again." And the monkey's paw said, sure, there you go. Now you're super famous. Now, what do you want your third wish to be? And Christy Alley said, I want to be super skinny. And the monkey's paw said, okay, hold on there. I'm not a miracle worker. <laughs> you need to slow it down a little bit, okay? <laughs> I, I mean, I can't do everything. And then uh, Christy Alley said, well, how about this? What if I'm just skinnier? And the monkey's paw said, now you're talking Boom, you're skinnier. (laughs) And that is Jennifer Lawrence right now. Boom, I uncovered it right there. Uh Uh-huh. What, Maxwell? We're the special guest. Okay, can you hold the special guest? Because I'm trying to rip through this because I'm trying to get done with it before um, before, uh, Supernatural starts. So I'm really trying to rip through this, Maxwell, so... So we'll, we'll, we'll get to the next special guest, okay? And speaking of monkey's paw, speaking of making wishes, Bunny. Yes. Next week, I'm going to be talking at length about Disney's Aladdin. Just want to give a little preview there. I've got some serious issues with that film. Okay. Some hardcore issues with that film. I am pissed at Aladdin. I've always been pissed at Aladdin, and I didn't understand why until recently, and now I know why I'm upset with, the movie, with Disney's Aladdin. So next we're gonna be we're gonna be taking apart Disney's Aladdin. I'm really upset about this. Okay. All right. He's been upset about this, so that's just a little preview for next week. So let's continue. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Still hella dead. Yes, he is. Still hella dead. Uh, and I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. If you are one of those people that once a celebrity dies, they instantly become martyrs and can no longer be criticized. Yeah. But Michael Jackson, yes. if Michael Jackson is in heaven, and yeah, that's a big if right there. Mm-hmm. But if he's in heaven, how much you want to bet he's being real inappropriate with cherubs right now? <laughs> how much you want to bet that he's like, hey, cherub, why don't you come <laughs> sleep with me on my cloud? You can, you can spend the night with me in my heaven bedroom. I, you want to have a sip of heaven wine? And the cherub's like, where even did you get that? It's heaven. Where did you get wine from? <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just don't tell anybody. I also got some some heaven cocaine if you want some of that. <laughs> tell anybody. So, so finally, in uh, celebrity news... Uh, we got to talk about a very popular celebrity right now, which is weird. Yeah. Richard freaking Simmons. What? Is, yeah, yeah I, I need to hear this. Richard freaking Simmons is an amazing man. Over the last year, he has done the impossible, buddy. The freaking impossible. Richard Simmons somehow made the world actually give a shit about Richard Simmons. <laughs> and, and to think all he had to do was mis- mysteriously drop off the face of the earth he should have done that sooner then yes you know because suddenly that it, Richard Simmons is is really popular and all over the place and all anybody's talking about so it, it, in fa- it, it's a big mystery right now of what happened to Richard Simmons so is so here's a small list a list within a list so it's listception of what may have happened to Richard Simmons just a few really quick things that I thought of of what may or may not have happened to Richard Simmons because yes. it's a mystery right now uh, so here's five little things that may or may not have happened 
to Richard Simmons. Number one, he may have purposefully disappeared from the public eye to become a full-time crazy nutball Norma Desmond style. Yes. Or uh, like Howard Hughes without the genius to weigh him down. You know? <laughs> well, no. oddly enough, I have, yeah. I have been tracking Richard Simmons. Well, yeah, of course, like everybody. Okay, like I, 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 well, in particular, I can't help it because I happen to have been watching General Hospital at the time when he originally emerged from his cocoon. Yeah. Yeah. And how can you not be fascinated? Like, why is there an exercise show in the middle of this soap opera? <laughs> yeah. So I have been following him, and he has quietly yet boldly finally come out uh, and it, it admitted uh, his deepest, darkest secret that he actually identifies male, and he has been going through the, the through the transition um, to help him along. He was a Navy SEAL for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, now he is a he's a jet pilot. Yeah, yeah, of course. He's he he's no longer he's no longer. Richard Simmons, he's changed his first name to Brock. Brock, that's a good manly name. Yeah. Like Brock Simmons. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm I'm pretty proud of him. I'm pretty proud of him that that he's finally uh living his life the way he always knew he should. Good. Yeah. There's uh I I I've, I've got I've got something planned for next week that you're really going to like and just want to tell you right now you're going to like what I have planned for next week. Yeah. So, let's continue talking about what may or may not have happened to Richard Simmons. Number 2, this is an actual theory that's out there. He's being held against his will by a maid and or caretaker who is extorting him for his vast wealth. Personally, I think this has to be untrue because uh, why would someone be extorting him for a wealth that has to be long gone because it's not the goddamn 80s anymore? <laughs> uh, sweating to the oldies is an oldie now. Yes. It's not like he's rolling in the dough. So, number three... And, and, we, think, and we know how he lost his weight. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He got a poker chip from an agent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So so here's a third possibility of what may or may not have happened to Richard Simmons, and I think this is a really strong possibility here. He's so deep in the closet that he got trapped under a pile of old newspapers and Christmas toys. <laughs> and heavy winter jackets, like the kind you would keep in your closet. Yeah. Because it's warm now, all the time. Because, thank you, Al Gore. So he just got trapped in a bunch of things while he was in the closet. And now he's just trapped. So that's a possibility. So we'll find uh, him. He's eating his own foot. <laughs> yeah. So uh, here's a fourth possibility of what may or may not have happened to Richard Simmons. Uh, he he doesn't want to be in the public eye right now because he is quietly transitioning to a woman. Interestingly enough, a tabloid. <laughs> Uh, it uncovered that story and ran with it, and now allegedly Richard Simmons is suing them. But again, I'm not sure if it's ale- if it's actually Richard Simmons because he's not actually coming out and saying I am suing them. He's talking through people and yeah. through agents and through yada yada yada. No one has seen him. No one has seen him. Period. So, so, so that's a possibility. But here's a more likely possibility. Richard Simmons is quietly, finally transitioning into a butterfly. <laughs> now, here's the weird thing. Seriously, Bunny, tell me that wouldn't be a shock, right? Yeah. Richard Simmons is already such a weirdo that if somebody said that he's turning into a butterfly, you would go, yeah, yeah, okay. Yep, that's, <laughs> that sounds about par for the course for Richard Simmons. Yeah. Now, yeah. interestingly enough, Bunny... We're going to have more about Richard Simmons later on the show. Okay. There's just so much about Richard Simmons to talk about that we'll be mentioning him a little bit later. Yes, Maxwell, my darling son, whom I love so much. Yes. Yes. Oh, what? There's a special guest? I am so shocked. 
guest. Okay, there's a special guest. Who yeah. is this special guest? The Avengers guest. A special Avengers guest. Ooh, is it Squirrel Girl? No. Is it D Man? No. Is it Wolverine? Is it Power Man? Mr. No. Simon Williams? It's Vision, isn't it? It's Vision. No, it's Bot. No, it's Captain America. Oh, it's Captain America. Hi, Captain America. Hi. You were from the 40s. Yes. What? If you saw a woman with pants on, did, did you used to just punch her in the ovaries? No, <laughs> She just immediately arrested. No, I just saved her from oh, the you, fire. Oh, you would save her from the fire. Yeah, everything was on fire back then because it was the 40s. So I would, so I would let Maxwell, your son, that you love. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Captain America. What is what the person saying about Captain America is uh, is about that Captain America is a lot better than Iron Man. Yes, Captain America is a lot better than Iron Man. Because because he has a lot good talent than Iron Man. Uh, incidentally, thank you for reminding me, Max. Well, we will be talking about Captain America later on the show. What? Yeah. So I just, I just wish Captain America would show up on television or like CNN or something like that, and just tell the world that the president is a member of Hydra. Oh, can All right. Be on the show? No, no. We're going to be talking about Captain America movies later on the show because there's a. A, it's a long story. But anyway, that is it for movie news, true facts. But hey, buck up, little campers, because it, it, this isn't the end. Uh, it's just the circle. It is the, the circle. circle.